Uh, today we're going to have five children receiving their first Holy Communion. So that will be part of the ceremony. They'll be uh, receiving first with the parents and godparents, and then afterwards everybody else will receive communion. Those of you at home, we welcome you. We thank you. Um, today we have two collections. The second collection is the Prince Collection. And um, if you want to make an offering at the point of the uh, offertory, they'll put on the screen the uh, way to do it electronically if you'd like. You can also text it here. You can also check the bulletin for, for more information on that. I think we're ready to begin the Mass. Lord Jesus, you teach us to see you in others. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you call us to protect and help those in need. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you show us the way to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and we'll keep life the last Amen. Glory to God in the highest, on earth, on earth peace, peace to people, people of goodwill. goodwill. We praise you, See, we bless you, you, we adore you, we glorify you. We, glorify you. we, we give, give you thanks. thanks for your great glory. Lord God, 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 Heavenly King, Almighty God, the God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Christ the only begotten Son, Lord, Lord God, God, Lamb of God, God, Son of the Father, you, you take away the sins world, of the world, have mercy on us. Let us pray. O oh God, through the grace of adoption, Joseph will be children of mine. Grant and pray that we may not be wrapped in the darkness of error, but always be seen to stand in the bright light of truth. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit. One God forever and reading from the second book of Kings. One day Elisha came to Shunem, where there was a woman of influence who urged him to dine with her. Afterward, whenever he passed by, he used to stop there to dine. So she said to her husband, I know that Elisha is a holy man of God. Since he visits us often, let us arrange a little room on the roof and furnish it for him with a bed, table, chair, and lamp, so that when he comes to us, he can stay there. Sometime later, Elisha arrived and stayed in the room overnight. Later, Elisha asked, can something be done for her? His servant Gehazi answered, yes, 
She has no son, and her husband is getting on in years. Elisha said, Call her. When the woman had been called and stood at the door, Elisha promised, This time next year, you will be fondling a baby son. The word of the Lord. Listen to a reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, are you unaware that we who were baptized into Christ Jesus were baptized into his death? We were indeed buried with him through baptism into death, so that, just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, we too might live in newness of life. If then we have died with Christ, we believe that we shall also live with him. We know that Christ, raised from the dead, dies no more. Death no longer has power over him. As to his death, he died to sin once and for all. As to his life, he lives for God. Consequently, you too must think of yourselves as dead to sin and living for God in Christ Jesus. The word of the Lord. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. 
Jesus said to his apostles, Whoever loves father or mother more than me is not worthy of me. And whoever loves son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me. And whoever does not take up their cross and follow after me is not worthy of me. Whoever finds their life will lose it. And whoever loses their life for my sake will find it. Whoever receives you receives me. And whoever receives me receives the one who sent me. Whoever receives a prophet because that person's a prophet will receive a prophet's reward. Whoever receives a righteous person because that person is righteous will receive a righteous person's reward. And whoever gives only a cup of cold water to one of those little ones to drink because the little one is a disciple, amen, I say to you, they surely will not lose their reward. The Gospel of the Lord. By the words of the Gospel, may our sins be washed away. Got it? Okay. Please be seated. Again, for the sake of the people at home and the camera people not having to follow me as I pace back and forth, I'll stay up here. This is one of the easiest gospels to understand and one of the hardest gospels to embrace. One is because the loving our parents, loving our children, seems to be the essence of our lives. And yet Jesus is saying to, to love them too much makes us unworthy so let's go through this a minute because there are three warnings in this gospel and there are three blessings or promises. And I want to look at those very carefully. The first two warnings are built upon gifts. Of course, when we think about our parents, who gave them to us? But God. And our love for our parents should then be reflected by our love for God. After all, which is more important, the gift or the giver? I have certain gifts uh, that I cherish. One is a coffee cup that my sister gave me. It's the last gift she gave me. And so for the last 30 years, I've cherished and protected this coffee cup because every time I use it, it reminds me of my sister. But of course, the cup itself is unimportant. It's my sister who's important. And that is the whole point of a gift. The gift is to remind us of the love of the giver. So if we are thinking about our parents, or looking at our parents, or talking to our parents, and the first words out of our mouths are not, thank you, God, you love me so much, then we miss the point. On the other hand, who gives to us our children except the Lord? And therefore, when you go to hold, embrace, or even correct your children, if the first, first words out of your mouths are not, thank you, Lord, I love you so much, then we miss the point. These two warnings that Jesus says is to remind us that all the gifts that we receive and all the gifts that surround us, all that which we hold as a treasure in our lives, comes from the hand of God and should lead us to be grateful. But there's one more warning, and that one 
is part and parcel, is central to the Christian life, to, to being a Catholic. Because, of course, the whole point of life as a Catholic, as a Christian, is to give of ourselves. To somehow, when we are so greatly loved, to do something with that love, to, to show that love that we have. And so, of course, whatever sacrifice, whatever suffering, whatever we endure, whatever we offer, we should offer first to God. Whether it's for our families, our friends, our neighbors, ourselves. We make that sacrifice, we take up that cross, we accept that suffering as a gift to the Lord. That's what he's talking about. To center everything we have, everything we treasure, and everything we do on our love for Christ. Now the three rewards. The first one is a basic understanding of, of Christian life. We hear it clearly in the prayer of St. Francis because it's repeated for us time and time again, but it comes right from this gospel, doesn't it? To give of ourselves, to give our lives over in service, in love, in sacrifice, in gift, is to find ourselves. So many people in the world are out looking for something, looking for something for themselves, and in their desire to catch something for themselves, they don't let go of anything, and they miss the point. Whereas those who let go of their own desires, their own needs, in order to help someone else out, in order to serve someone else, well, all of a sudden, their life makes sense. And they realize that it was in letting go of everything they thought was important that they found what was really important. Second part of this reward, this Christian life we live, is of course to understand that we are called to represent not just ourselves, but Christ. And through Christ, our relationship with God. So he says, whoever receives one of you receives me. And whoever receives me receives the one who sent me. That we live in this life not just for ourselves, but that we are part of the body of Christ and therefore children of God. That understanding, that reward, makes our lives different and more fulfilling. And then finally, what do we need to do in order to have these rewards, in order to really celebrate what, has been, what is being offered to us? And so, of course, he, he goes through two examples that are harder to understand because they don't necessarily correlate with our experience. The, the prophet and the righteous man who receives such a person will receive, will receive that person's reward. So if you don't know any prophets, if you don't know any righteous people, maybe just... Put somebody else in there. And, but whatever, whatever you recognize, that's their reward. But the Christian, the Christian is the person who will even offer a cup of water to one of the little ones. Who will not forget anyone in need. We don't have to do great things. We don't have to change the whole world. We, we simply have to help the person who's right in front of us. Big or small, it doesn't matter. Because the reward comes in recognizing that everyone in front of us is a child of God, belongs to Christ. Amen. Please let us together profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father of life, the maker of heaven and earth. Of all things, things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages.
God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made. Through him all things were made. For us, for our salvation. By the Holy Spirit, who was incarnated the Virgin Mary and became human. So he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. He is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead. His kingdom will have no end. The Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son. The Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I am one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for you. I look forward to the resurrection of the dead, the life of the world to come. Amen. We turn to God who knows our needs and offer our prayers and petitions. Please respond, Lord, fill us with faith and courage. Lord, fill us with faith and courage. We pray for the church that all of us who have died with Christ in our baptism will recognize our dignity as children of God and love others as God loves us. We pray to the Lord. Lord, fill us with faith and courage. We pray that all political leaders who claim to be followers of Jesus will lead our society toward the gospel values of love, service, and justice. We pray to the Lord. We pray for all those who are baptized, confirmed, and receiving their first communion this weekend, that they will continue to grow in faith, wisdom, grace, and the desire to serve God by serving others. We pray to the Lord. We pray for the grace to live the gospel that we may love God with our whole heart and strength, learn to love as God loves, and express our love through a generous spirit of service to others. We pray to the Lord. We pray for all those who suffer because they live and express the values of the gospel. May God fill them with strength and perseverance so that in their suffering they may glorify God's name. We pray to the Lord. We pray for all those who lack sufficient resources to care for their families. May our prayers, our generosity, and our insistence on economic justice help to provide for them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, fill us with faith and courage. We pray for Francisco Colin, Anita Guerrero, for all the sick and for all those who care for them, especially those affected by the coronavirus. May God fill them with courage, grant them hope and healing. We pray to the Lord. We pray for Ignacio Villanueva, Gelacio Sandoval Correa, Maria Silvina Varela, Maria Carmen Morales Moreno, Consuelo Solano, and all the recently deceased, that as they have died with Christ, they may now live with him. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord We pray for all those written in our book of intentions, and especially for Thomas Higgins, Sister Eucharist Welsh, Brian Johnson, relatives, friends, and benefactors of the Sisters of Christian Charity, Clavel Distor Crow, Jesus Padilla, Luz Aranilla, Juan Caseros, Damiano Ann, Darlene Crivial, John Lowry, and Digna Perez. We pray to the Lord. Lord, bless the faith of the church. And the uh, parish God of all goodness, you have called us from the corners of the earth in order to form this community of faith in Chicago. You have blessed us with a living faith so that our faithless world may come to know you. Make us generous toward those who hunger, compassionate toward those who suffer abuse, kind toward immigrants and refugees, merciful toward those who sin against you. May we be true disciples of your Son, faithful stewards of your grace, evangelizers who are strengthened by the gifts of your Holy Spirit, that our petitions may bear much fruit and give glory to your holy name. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated as we prepare the altar. If you... Uh did not have a chance to drop your offering into the uh, offering box on the way into church. If you do so, there's boxes at the doors as you exit the church.
grace and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. O God, who graciously accomplished the effects of your mysteries, grant we pray that the deeds by which we serve you may be worthy of these sacred gifts through Christ our Lord. You could speak for number four. The Lord be Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right to give you thanks, truly just to give you glory, Father most holy. For you are the one God living and true, existing for all before all ages and abiding for all eternity, dwelling in unapproachable light. Yet you who alone are good, the source of life, and make all that is, so that you might fill your creatures with blessings and bring joy to many of them by the glory of your light. And so in your presence are countless hosts of angels who serve you day and night, and gazing upon the glory of your countenance, glorify you without ceasing. With them we too confess your name and exaltation, giving voice to every creature under heaven as we acclaim.
the sacrifice acceptable to you, which brings salvation to the whole world. The good Lord upon the sacrifice which you yourself have provided for your church, and granting your loving kindness to all who partake of this one bread and one chalice, that gathered to one body by the Holy Spirit, they may truly become a living sacrifice in Christ to the praise of your glory. Therefore, Lord, remember now for all of whom we offer this sacrifice, especially your servant, Francis of Hope, Blaise, our bishop, and his assistant bishops, especially Mark, our deacons, Bob, our regular prayer with the clergy and religious, those who take part of this offering, those gathered here before you, your entire people, and all who seek with a sincere heart. Remember also those who have died in the peace of your Christ, and all again, whose faith we long have known. To all of us, your children, grant our merciful Father, that we may enter into our heavenly inheritance with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, whom we honor to our Lady Mercy. And blessed Joseph, our spouse, and the blessed apostles and martyrs, for the sake of our names, and with all the saints. There is your full of creation, free from the corruption of sin and death. May we glorify you through Christ our Lord, through whom we bestow the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, we pray every evil. Gracious and our daily by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope of the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said your apostles, peace, I give you my peace, I give you look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever. Yeah. Amen. The peace of the Lord. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of the Lord's peace.
We know the one who died. We know the one who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are we to be called to the Son of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not with you.
Um, first and foremost, please visit the parish website, olm.church, for the latest news, information, bulletins, prayers, resources. Uh, it's all there on olm.church. Also, uh, our Facebook page, facebook.com uh, slash olmchicago, has also all the latest news, the bulletin, as well as the live streams that we do, particularly with the uh, lunchtime letters and with the uh, with the lunchtime letters for the live stream, and then of course the mass. Remember that uh, we do have room available at the mass, and we've started to expand the number of people allowed in church. And that is due to the fact that we have a very dedicated team of volunteers who sanitize the church after every single service. Uh, they worked all day yesterday because we had three confirmation masses, as well as then all of today's masses, plus another uh, special ceremony for all the Easter candidates at 3 o'clock today. Uh, you do need tickets, so please call the rectory in order to uh, reserve a space and pick up your tickets at the rectory. You need to have them in order to attend mass. We would like to add more people into the into the mass if we have room uh, on, under our limitations to have more people here, except we need more volunteers. Uh, we need more people who are willing to help sanitize the church. We'd also like to add more masses, but again, that requires another team of volunteers to come on Saturday night or, or Sunday night in order to add those masses as well. So please, if you're able to and you're willing, please help out by uh, volunteering to be part of the sanitizing crew. Uh, the next time for training for the sanitizing crew is July 8th. And you need to call the office because there's actually two videos to watch beforehand. You can watch them on the internet. And that is one with the archdiocese and one from the parish. And then after you watch those videos, come to the training session on July 8th. We'd like to start expanding the masses beginning that following weekend, July 12th. But that depends upon having enough volunteers, enough people making sure we need to make sure everybody is as safe as possible when they come to church. And so, for security purposes, uh, safety of everyone, we want to start slowly and build up. We don't want to be like some mistakes that open up too fast and then crash because of that. So we want to try and protect people as much as possible. And uh, we try and follow as many of those rules and, and make them as safe as possible here in church. Also, uh, for giving online, during your uh, at home at the time, you would have seen on your screen during the operatory, the possible giving online through chicago.org slash operatory, or the Give Central page, uh, givecentral.org, and then you can sign up for um, giving to Our Lady of Mercy Parish. You can sign up for any of the parishes in Chicago. One of the other ways is text to give, and that will put you to a link directly through Give Central, and it will only give you the uh, necessary information. You won't sign up as a as a um, person regularly giving, but just a text to give at that moment. So, uh, and that phone number is in the bulletin. You can find it on the Facebook page as well. Then, uh, I'd like to remind you that the lunchtime letters actually this week is going to be the last week. We all have gone through all the letters of the New Testament uh, in the last few weeks. It's uh, been a lot of fun to be able to read them uh, in their entirety, as well as uh, as many people making comments and, and listening in. And that's at noon uh, every day, Monday and Wednesday in English, Tuesdays and Thursdays in Spanish. Also, the uh, Bible study, we started the Bible study in the Gospel of St. Uh, Matthew. And uh, we've just done the first two chapters. We had the first class last Wednesday in English. And this Wednesday, we'll continue on. Chapters 3, 4, and 5. Uh, in English, Tuesday in Spanish. And so please uh, think about that, 7 p.m. and that's a Zoom class. Uh, and call the office and we'll send you the link for the Zoom class. And the reason we have it on Zoom is so we can, re re we can record the class as well as allow people to ask questions when they have questions. So it's an in interactive class and uh, not just uh, listening to it like through Facebook Live. Then. Uh, we want to remind you that the charismatic prayer groups are meeting. Uh, they're meeting uh, usually virtually in a live situation. The Spanish charismatic group meets on Facebook Live on Saturday evenings. The El Shaddai group meets on Sunday afternoons on Facebook Live. Um, and the uh, Holidays group meets on Wednesday evenings on Facebook Live. Also, uh, the Rectory Office is now open at the regular hours we've had previously. We actually expanded an extra uh, half hour, but from 9 a.m. till 
Uh, from Monday to Friday, 9 a.m. to 8.30 p.m., uh, there is a lunch break from 2 to 4, where we, we don't just close for lunch, but we also get other work done that we can't get done when the phone calls are constant. So, uh, at those uh, times, and then, again, that information is available on Facebook as well as the parish website. And then, uh, if you are sick, please stay home. Let us know, uh, and then uh, we'll, we'll pray for you. Uh, but please stay home to protect everyone else, uh, both in your family as well as in the neighborhood and the city. And uh, the best way to avoid getting sick is to wash your hands frequently. And following the restrictions of local government in prevention and spreading of coronavirus, uh, one of the things that we notice is obviously people get thirsty when uh, if they're sitting for a long time or if it's in a hot place. When you come to church, please bring your own bottle of water. Yes, we have water fountains and, and by the bathrooms. The problem is that uh, we can't have somebody back there ready to sanitize after each person uses them. And so we, we can't guarantee this, uh, how sanitary they are at any moment in terms of the coronavirus. We're trying to take extra precautions. That's why we've closed off the prayer niches uh, because people would come and, and say a prayer and then we'd have to have someone watching and to wipe down the bench again. So rather than trying to wipe it down each time, we ask you to please bring your own bottle of water when you come to the church. Also, if you'd like holy water, uh, please bring a bottle and I will be glad to bless it. We don't have the tank of holy water available, but if you're using uh, holy water at home, just bring us a bottle and I'll be glad to bless it um, after Mass or, or even during the week if you're coming during the week. Oh, and Saturday is the 4th of July. It's uh, Independence Day, so it's a big holiday. There are no confessions on Saturday. Uh, this is coming Saturday. Normally we'll have confessions at 4 o'clock on Saturday, but not this Saturday because of the 4th of July. And um, Will the office be open for mass tickets on Saturday? The office is not open at all on Saturday, not for mass tickets, so you need to come on Friday for the mass tickets uh, for the following day. Okay? Let us pray. May this divine sacrifice we have offered and received fill us with life, O Lord, we pray, so that bound to you in lasting charity we may bear fruit that lasts forever through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us go in peace to love God as God loves us, and so to love everyone else as God loves us. Thanks be to God.